Welcome everyone to 10 minutes math. This is ED Excel, June 2019. Mathematics, pure mathematics B2, WMA 1201. Let us start the first question. A sequence A1, A2, A3 is defined by AN plus 1 equal to 4 minus A, A1, AN, A1 equal to 3. Find the value of A2, A107. So let us start. This is A. AN plus 1 equal to 4 minus AN. So N equal to 1. So A2 is equal to 4 minus A1 equal to 4 minus 3 equal to 1. So A2 equal to 1. Now A107, so let us start A107, so A1 equal to 3, A2 equal to 1, A3 equal to, so A3 is equal to 4 minus A2, so it's 4 minus 1 equal to 3, so A3 equal to 3. A4 equal to 4 minus A3, so 4 minus 3 equal to 1, so A4 equal to 1. So even part is equal and odd part, so A1 equal to A3 equal to 3, so A107 equal to 3. Because it's odd and all the odd is equal to, all the odd part is equal to 3. Now, summation of n equal to 1 to 200, 2a, n minus 1. So, let us start to solve this part. This is part b. You need the summation from n equal to 1 to n equal to 200 to a n minus 1. Let us add n equal to 1. So it's 2 a 1 minus 1 plus 2 a 2 minus 1 plus 2 a 3 minus 1 plus 2 a 4 minus 1 and so on. A1 is equal to 3. A1 is equal to 3. So A1, 3, 1, 1, 3. So it's equal to 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 and so on. So it's equal to 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1, plus, and so on. So it's 200, so it's 5 multiplied by 100, plus 1 multiplied by 100. We have odd 100 parts and even 100 parts, so it's equal to 500 plus 100, it's equal to 600. So, and this is the answer of this question. Let us go ahead to another one. A circle C has equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y minus 21 equal to 0. Find the coordinate of the center of C, the exact value of the radius of C. So let us start to solve this part. This is part A. Now the equation x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y minus 21 equal to 0. So we have x squared plus 4x. So we have x plus 2 squared. It gives us x squared plus 4x plus 4. So plus here 4 and at the end minus 4. Plus y squared minus 10y. So y minus 5. 10 divided 
equal to ten divided by two equal to five square. You give us y squared minus ten y plus twenty five. So plus twenty five, and then here minus twenty five minus twenty one equal to zero. So we have x plus two squared plus y minus five squared. Minus 50 equal to 0. So x plus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared equal to 50. So center equal to minus 2 and 5. So this is the center of the circle. And radius r equal to square root square root of 50. So this is uh, the center and the radius of the circle. The point B, 5 and 4 lie on C. Find the equation of the tangent to C at B. Writing your answer in the form Y equal to MX plus C. So now you need the tangent. Tangent mean, we know that if this is a circle and this is the tangent, so the radius here is perpendicular to the tangent. This point is C and this point is B. So to solve this question, C, which is the center, minus 2 and 5. B, which is the point given, is equal to 5 and 4. 5 and 4. So m for the radius is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So it's equal to 5 minus 4 divided by minus 2 minus 5. So it's equal to 1 divided by minus 7. So m perpendicular which is for the tangent, is equal to minus 1 over m radius. So it's equal to 7. The equation y equal to mx plus c. This point lie on the line. So from here, 4 equal to 7, which is m, multiplied by 5, plus c. So c equal to minus 35, minus 4, so it's minus 31. So now the equation y equal to 7x minus 31, where m equal to 7, C equal to minus 31. This is the answer of the question. Let us go ahead to another one. Use algebra to prove that for all real value of x, x minus 4 squared is bigger than or equal to 2x minus 9. So let us write the equation. This is i. So x minus 4 squared bigger than or equal to 2x minus 9. So x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus 2x plus 9 bigger than or equal to 0. So x squared minus 10x plus 25 bigger than or equal to 0. So x minus 5 squared bigger than or equal to 0. All square number bigger than or equal to 0. Show that following statement is untrue. 2 power n plus 1 is a, is a prime number for all value of n and n a real number. So this is part 2. 2n plus 1 for n equal to 3. 2 power 3 plus 1 equal to 8 
plus 1 equal to 9, which is 3 by 3, so not, not prime number. Okay, let us go ahead to another one. Find the first four term in a sequence in ascending the power of x of a binomial expression of 2 minus 1 over 4 x power 6. So let us sort this out. So 2 minus 1 over 4 x power 6 is equal to 2 power 6. 2 minus 1 over 8. 1, 1 minus 1 over 8x power 6. So let us start to find the value. 2 power 6, 1. Plus n6 multiplied by minus 1 over 8x power 1. Plus 6n multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 8x squared plus 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 8x power 3 2 power 6 equal to 64 so 64 plus 6 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 8 multiplied by 64x plus 6 multiplied by 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 over 64 multiplied by 64x squared plus 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 64 multiplied by 8 and we have here minus multiplied by 64 x power 3 so it's equal to 64 here divided by by 8 equal to 8 so minus 48 x here 64 goes 64 to 3 so plus 15 x squared minus here we have minus 64 goes 64 this one was 6 this one 2 so 5 divided by 2, 2.5, x power 3. And this is the answer of the question. Given that x, that x is a small, so the term is, term is in x power 4 and the higher power of x may be ignored. So... 2 minus 1 over 4 x bar 6 plus 2 plus 1 over 4 x bar 6 is equal to a b x squared where b and a are a constant to be found so this part we ask about 2 minus 1 over 4 x bar 6 plus 2 plus 1 over 4 power x bar 6 this part is this part so let us go ahead. So it's 64 minus 48x plus 15x minus square minus 2.5x power 3. Now plus here negative, here positive. So all the terms will be positive. So plus 64 plus 48x plus 15x squared plus 2.5x power 3. So this part goes this part, this one goes this one. So the answer is equal to 64 plus 64 plus 15x squared plus 15x squared. So 128 plus 30x squared. 
So A equals 128 and B equals 330. And this is the answer of the question. Okay, let us go ahead to another one. A company make a particular type of watch, the annual profit made by the company from sales is, of this watch is modeled by the equation B equal to 12x minus x bar 3 over 2 minus 120, where B is the annual profit measured in thousand of pound, and x is the uh, selling price of the watch. According to the model, find using calculus the maximum possible annual profit. To find the maximum value, we need to find dB by dx, which is equal to 12 minus 3 over 2, x 3 over 2 minus 1, minus finish. So it's equal to 12 minus 3 over 2, x power half. This dB over to find the maximum dB by dx equal to zero. So 12 minus 3 over 2 x power half equal to zero. So 3 over 2 x power half equal to minus 12. So x power half equal to 12 multiplied by 2 over 3. So it's equal to 8, so x equal to 8 squared, so x equal to 64. To find the maximum profit, so we need b. b at x equal to 64, so b equal to 12 multiplied by 64, 12 multiplied by 64, minus 64 power 3 over 2 minus 120. So let us bring our calculators. So 12 multiplied by 64 minus 64 power 1.5 minus 120. So B is equal to B is equal to 136,000 pounds. Why thousand? Because he said that this profit in thousand here. He said that measure in thousand pounds. Okay. Justify also using calculus that the profit you have found is the maximum. So we have dB by dx equal to again what is the equation 12 minus 12 minus 3 over 2 x power half so we need to find the second differentiation d2b divided by dx squared equal to minus 3 over 2 multiplied by half x power half minus half so it's minus 3 over 4 x minus half so it's uh, let us add x for x equal 64 now d to b divided by dx squared is equal to minus 3 over 4 multiplied by 64 minus half so it's equal to minus 3 divided minus 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 64 bar minus half So the answer is minus 0 0.9375, minus 0 0.09375, so it's less than 0, so 
x equal to 64 uh, give maximum b maximum profit okay this is the answer of this question let us go ahead to another one f of x equal to x uh, kx bar 3 minus 15x squared minus 32x minus 12 where k is a constant Given x minus 3 is a factor of f of x, show that k equal to 9. So to start to solve this question, this is question number a. So we have x minus 3 factor of f of x. So x minus 3 equal to 0. So x equal to 3. So f of 3 equal to 0. So let us now go f of 3, f of 3 equal to k multiplied by 3 power 3 minus 15 multiplied by 3 squared minus 32 multiplied by 3 minus 12 equal to 0. So 27k minus 15 multiplied by 9 minus 32 multiplied by 3 minus 12 equal to 0. So 27k minus, let us find this value, 15 multiplied by 9, minus 32 multiplied by 3 minus 15 multiplied by 9 plus 32 multiplied by 3 plus 12. So minus 243 equal to 0 so from here k equal to this value multiplied by 27 so it's equal to 9 so 2 4 3 divided by 27 equal to 9 so k equal to 9 k equal to 9 Using algebra and show, showing each step of your working a full factorize of f of x. You need the fact, uh, factorize of f of x, so this is part b. So we have x minus 3 factor of f of x. So let us now divide f of x by x minus 3. So we have 9x power 3, which is k, k is equal to 9, minus 15x squared minus 32x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. So we have 9x squared, 9x power 3 minus 27x squared, positive, negative. So we will have 12 positive x squared and then we bring this one down minus 32x so plus 12x 12x squared minus 36x so we will have positive negative so we'll have 4x minus 12 so now plus 4, we have 4x minus 12, which is 0, 0. So now f of x equal to x minus 3 multiplied by 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So if we have 3x here, this is 3x and this is plus 2, so square. So it's uh, 9x squared plus 6 multiplied by 2, 12x plus 4. So this part is equal to x minus 3, 3x plus 2 squared. So this is our f of x. 
Solve for theta bigger than or equal to 0 and less than 360, the equation 9 cosine cube theta minus 15 cosine square theta minus 32 cosine theta minus 12. So the same here, the same f of x equal to 0, giving your answer one decimal place. So we have the same but instead of, so this is part c, instead of x, x equal to cosine theta. So we will have cosine theta minus 3 and 3 cosine theta plus 2 square equal to 0. So cosine theta equal to 3, we don't have answer. So 3 cosine theta equal to 2. So from here, cosine theta equal to minus 2 over 3. So theta equal to cosine minus 1 inverse cosine minus 2 divided by 3. Let us find this theta. So shift cosine minus 1 minus 2 divided by 3. It's equal to 131.8. So the first theta. 131.8 degree. He said that theta bigger than or equal to 0 and less than 360. So theta, this is theta 1, theta 2 equal to 360 minus 131.8. So it's equal to 360 minus answer. 228.2 228.2 degree. This is theta 1 and this is theta 2. We have two theta available. Let us go ahead to another question. Kim start, starts working for a company in year 1. Her annual salary will be 16,200 pounds. In year 10, her annual salary is predicted to be 31,500. Model A assumed that her annual salary will increase by the same amount each year. So the increase here is the same amount each year. According to the Model A determined Kim's annual salary in year 2. So to find, start solve this part, this is A. So now A which is the first term, which is her salary at the first year is equal to 16,200 pounds. And N10, which is at the end, 31,500 pounds. We know that. So now we know that N10 is equal to A plus N minus 1. D. So 31,500 equal to 16,200 plus 10 minus 1 multiplied by D. So from here D equal to 31,500 minus 16,200 divided by 9. So this D is equal to 31,500 minus 16,200 divided by 9, 1,700. So you need the salary at year 2. So S at year 2 is equal to direct 16,200 plus N minus 1, which is 2 minus 1. Multiply by 1700. So S salary is equal to, let us print our calculator, so 16200 plus 1700, so 17900. 17900 pounds. And this is us. Model B assume that the annual salary will increase by the same percentage. Now we go to the percentage. So 
According to the model B, determine Kim's annual salary in year two, given your answer in the nearest ten pounds. So he need the range now. Nearest ten pounds mean he need the range. So this is part B. Again, A equal to sixteen thousand two hundred. Now annual percent. So N ten is equal to A multiplied by R N minus one. So thirty one thousand five hundred will equal to sixteen thousand two hundred multiplied by R R nine. So from here, R, which is the percentage of increase, will equal to 31,500 divided by 16,200. 35, so shift. And then we go like, like this one. Here, line. Here, answer equal to 1077 so the percentage 1.077 so salary at year 2 equal to again a 16200 multiplied by 1077 power 2 minus 1 which is 1 so 16,200 16,200 multiplied by 1.077 so it's equal to 17,447 so equal to 17,447.4 so the range now s is bigger than or equal to nearest tenth so for seventeen thousand four hundred forty and less than or equal seventeen thousand four hundred fifty. This is bound and this is bound. Okay. Why we make this range? Because he asked us to find the nearest the nearest tens. Let us go ahead. Calculate according to the two models the difference between the total amount that Kim is predicted to earn from year 1 to year 10 inclusive. Give your answer to nearest 10. Again, nearest 10. So he needs a difference. So this is part C. Now for model 4A. The submission, he needs the submission. So the submission equal to 10 divided by 2, the first salary 6,200 plus 31,500. 4B, the submission, we must be very careful. Why very careful? Because this R now is round R. This R is not the real R. We round the percentage of increase. So we need the real R. So the real R here is equal to, let us find this value again, 31,500 divided by 16,200. Now, shift. Answer. So the real R is 107668. So this is our real R. So when we add here the submission, we must use the real R. So I will make this step 16,200. 1.07668 power 10 minus 1 divided by 1.007668 minus 1. So remember, choose the right R. So now difference will equal to, let us find the first value. 5 multiplied by 16,200 plus 31,500. 238. 
500, so the value here 238500 minus this value multiplied by 1.07668 power 10 minus 1 divided by 0 0.07668 so 231014 231014 okay so this is the answer so now 238500 minus answer is equal to 7485 7, so it's equal to 7485 so it's approximate 7485 and this is the answer of the question careful to the question use all the time the round when he asks you for round if you don't ask for round so use the real value let us go ahead to another question find the exact solution of the equation 8 or 2x plus 1 equal to 6, given your answer in the form a plus b log 2, 3, where a and b are constant to be found. Let us start to solve this part. This is y. We have 8 power 2x plus 1 equal to 6. So we can write 2 power 3 multiplied by 2x plus 1 equal to 6. So we have 2 power 6x plus 3 equal to 6. So log 2, 2 multiplied by 6x plus 3 will equal to log 2, 6. Log 2 for 2 equal to 1. So this is equal to 1. So 6x plus 3 will equal to log. 2, 2 multiplied by 3. So 6x plus 3 equal to log 2, 2 plus log 2, 3. Again, this one is equal to 1. So 6x plus 3 will equal to 1 plus log 2, 3. This 3 count this side. So 6x will equal to log 2, 3, minus 2. So x is equal to 1 over 6 log 2, 3, minus 6, divided, minus 2, divided by 6. So x will equal to 1 over 6 log 2, 3. Minus 1 over 3. This is the value that he need. Where B is equal to 1 over 6 and A is equal to minus 1 over 3. This is the two value of the constant. Okay. Let us go ahead to another one. Using the law of uh, logarithm solve, log power 5, 7 minus 2y equal to 2 log power 5, y plus 1 minus 1. Let us start to solve this part. Now the equation is, this is part level i. So the equation is log 5. 7 minus 2y equal to 2 log 5y plus 1 minus 1. This 2 will come here and this one log 5, 5. So it will be log 5y minus 2y, 7 minus 2y equal to log 5y plus 1 squared minus 
So it's equal to log y is 7 minus 2y log y plus 1 squared divided by 5. This minus means divide. So now log with log, so 7 minus 2y equals to y plus 1 squared divided by 5 minus 10y equal to y squared plus 2y plus 1. So this side, this side, so y squared plus 12y minus 34 equal to 0. So y equal to, let us bring our calculator. Now equation 3, 1. 12, 1, 12, minus 34, so minus 6 square root of 7, minus 6 plus square root of 7, and this is the only answer because this answer now is a positive, and for logarithm we need positive help, okay, so let us go ahead to another question. Show that the equation cosine theta minus 1 equal to 4 sine theta tan theta can be written in the form 5 cosine squared theta minus cosine theta minus 4 equal to 0. So let us solve this part. This is part A. We have cosine theta minus 1 equal to 4 sine theta tan theta. So cosine theta minus 1 will equal to 4 sine theta multiplied by tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta. So cosine squared theta minus cosine theta will equal to 4 sine squared theta. I mean cross multiplier. So cosine squared theta minus cosine theta equal to 4, 1 minus cosine squared theta. Cosine squared plus cosine squared equal to 1. So cosine squared theta minus cosine theta equal to 4 minus cosine squared minus 4 cosine squared theta. This 4 come here and come here. So this side, so 5 cosine squared the theta minus cosine theta minus 4 equal to 0. And this is the equation that we need. Okay. Now, Hence, solve for x bigger than or equal to 0 and less than pi over 2 cosine 2x minus 1 equal to 4 sine 2x then 2x. B. Now, from here we have 5 cosine squared 2x minus cosine 2x minus 4 equal to 0. So we can write this equation 5 x squared minus x minus 4 equal to 0. We can divide this equation 5 x and x and 4 and 1. So 5 5x plus 4 equal to x, and here minus 4 equal to 0. So we can write the equation now, 5 cosine 2x plus 4 equal to 0, and cosine 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Cosine 2x equal to minus 4 divided by 5. So from here 2x is equal to, let us change our calculator into radian. So just 
cosine minus 1 minus 4 divided by 5. So it's 2.5. You need it to two decimal place. Two, so 2.50. 2.50. So x is equal to 1.25. This is the first value of x. Second value, cosine 2x minus 1 equals to 0. So cosine 2x equal to 1. So x equal to 0. So x equal to 0. So we have 2x which is equal to 0 and 1.25. And this is the answer of this question. Let us start okay, question number 10. This is the end of this exam. Figure 1 shows catch of part of curve C with equation y equal to f of x, where f of x equal to 3, 36 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 13x bigger than 0. Using calculus, find the range of the value of x, which f of x is increasing. So to find the range, this is part A. The f of x equal to 36 divided by x power 2 plus 2x minus 13. So to find the range f dash of x, we need f dash of x. So it's equal to 36 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by x minus 2 minus 1 plus 2. So it's equal to minus 20, 72 x power 3 minus 3 plus 2. So now f dash of x equal to 0. So minus 72 divided by x power 3 plus 2 equal to 0, so 2x power 3 minus will equal to minus 72, so 36, so from here, x equal to the third root of 36, is bigger than, x bigger than square root of 36. And this is the value of x. Now show that integration from 2 to 9, 36 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 13 dx equal to 0. So let us start to find this integration. This is part b. So the integration, the integration of 36 x minus 2 plus 2 x minus 13 dx from from 2 to 9. Let us find this integration. So it's equal to 36 divided by minus 1 x minus 1 plus 2 divided by 2 x squared minus 13 x from 2 to 9. So it's equal to minus 36 divided by x plus x squared minus 13 x from 2 to 9. So minus 36 divided by 9 plus 9 squared minus 13 multiplied by 9 minus minus 36 divided by 2 plus 2 squared minus 13x multiplied by 2. So let us find this value must be equal to 0. Let us find. Let us change first the mode to digit. Now minus minus 36 divided by 9 plus 81 minus 13 multiplied by 9 minus 
minus 36 divided by 2 plus 4 minus 13 multiplied by 2. This value right equal to 0, so our integration is right. So this integration, of course, is right. Let us go ahead. Now, the point B equal to 2 and 0 and point Q 6 and 0 lie on C, given that the integration from 2 to 6, the same f of x, equals to minus 8. State the value of the, the same integration from 6 to 9. So, the same integration from 6 to 9. So, I have the same integration, so this is part B. So from 6 to 9, so minus 36 divided by 9 plus 9 squared plus 9, 13 multiplied by 9 minus 36 divided by 6 plus 6 squared minus 13 multiplied by 6. This is the value of the integration. Let us find this value. We will go here, change every 2 by 6. So the integration value equal to 8. So the integration value equal to 8. Let us go ahead. So this is part C actually. C, I. Okay. Now find the value of the constant k such that integration from 2 to 6 equal to x squared for the same value the same one equal to zero so let us now find this integration so this is c double i so he need the integration from 2 to 6 36 divided by x squared plus 2x plus k dx equal to 0. He need the value of k. The same integration, but in a state here, negative, it will be plus kx. So the value, this integration is equal to minus 36 divided by x plus x squared plus kx from what? 2 to 6 equal to 0. So we have minus 36 divided by 6 plus 36, which is 6 squared, plus 6k minus minus 36 divided by 2 plus 4 plus 2k equal to 0. So let us start to find this value. So we have 6x minus 2x, so we have 4k minus 6k plus 2k, we have 4k equal to, let us find the value. So we have minus 36 minus 36 divided by 6 plus 36 plus 36 divided by 2 minus 4 equal to 44. So we have here minus 44. So k equal to minus 11. Okay. And this is the end of this exam. I hope you understand all the questions. Good luck. Bye.